check this out. Arcade, over 3,000 arcade games there. And then console games. There's everything from Atari to PlayStation 3, 16,000 games. Something I really like about this build, Xbox, 243 games. Xbox 360, 116 games. Nintendo 64, all every single Nintendo 64 game. Nintendo GameCube, 620 games. Look at all these games. It just goes on and on forever. You have Wii, 895 games. There was like 1,100 games or so, so 90% of the Nintendo Wii collection. Nintendo Wii U, 108 games. And then when you get to PlayStation 1, you have 1,700 games, PlayStation 2, 700 games for English, and then if you go to Europe, you got another 670 there as well. I think there might be some, wow, no, it looks like there's quite a bit in both. And then PlayStation 3, just a little bit, and then PlayStation Europe, you have 1,500 games there as well, although you have do have a Nintendo 64 game here for some weird reason, but hey... <coughs> You know, that's what you get with these drives. You get these massive collections for a really inexpensive price. And yes, it does have Sony PSP. You got 829. And you also do have Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS Switch. You got 61 games, 3DS, 500 games. Especially for a system like 3DS where you can no longer go on the shop. This is pretty cool so in this video we're going to check out all these games and all these different systems we're going to play the games to show you that they actually work and i'm going to share you my thoughts of whether i think this is a good investment or not i really do like that it's all on launchbox it makes it one stop shop for all this stuff and it's really easy to you know get to and click around and it's beautiful as well you can set a big box i highly recommend you buy the lifetime registration for launchbox you get the you buy it and you become a, a pr premium member you get so many features so many things you get updates new controls new optimizations it's really cool so without further ado let's get into it is the 12 terabyte comes all wrapped up in a nice enclosure if you're wondering what kind of drive it is is a western digital 12 gigabyte and um, this comes out really easily. So this could come out and lo be loose during shipping. So make sure you open it up and just click it into place here. Push down on the back side here. And then you put the cover back on. <clears throat> make sure you plug in the power and you have the um, USB connection. And then there's a power switch on here as well. Make sure that's powered on or else this will not work. And then you have LED light to show that it, it's on or not. Super well packaged in the cardboard and the bubble wrap. All right, so boot up your computer, type disk manager into the search bar on your computer, or get to the disk manager from my computer, go to change drive letter on this particular 12 terabyte drive, change it to M, M as in Mary. Um, here's the file system here. There are some other prerequisites you have to install. For example, it says to add things to your firewall. You don't really have to do that. You really just need the DirectX and any kind of the Microsoft read distros. Um, but other than that, you could just go ahead and launch LaunchBox and you can start it in arcade. As you see here, you got two player arcade games, four player arcade games. You got CPS one, two, and three systems. You can see here, you got like Street Fighter Third Strike, awesome game. Then you have different arcade games based on their. Um, their manufacturer or their publisher. You got Nintendo games, Namco games, Midway games, Konami games, and there's just so many fun games. But total, nice little arcade set at 3,000 arcades. You can go to image group over here, change it to background if you want to see all the different images and the games you're about to play. You can right click on a game and then it populates on the right side here. You can, uh, there's a, there's a, um, arcade there's an actual leaderboard on here to see who's got the high scores it's pretty cool um, so massive arcade set I'm not gonna spend too much time there because that's a pretty typical arcade set you find on all these hard drives even the 500 gigabyte hard drives have a similar arcade set but this does have Daphne on it if you want to play like cliffhanger or dragon's lair it does have those a Thomas wave you do have dolphin blue and then Naomi, you are going to have a nice little set here. If you go, you can see all your kind of favorite Sega arcade games here. Now, you do have Dreamcast as well. So if you're a Naomi fan, you can go scroll over to Sega Dreamcast, and you're going to find 330 other games. And some of these games were you know, part of Naomi as well. So in case you're curious, you have that available to you as well. So computer, so we did arcade. 
Uh, we did Arcade of Thomas Wave Daphne. Now we got computers over here. I'm not going to spend too much time in here. You do have a nice little MS-DOS collection at 3200 So even if you don't have all these old games, there are some really good franchises out there. This is where a lot of the franchises that we know today came out of. Uh, Raptor, Heroes of Might and Magic, um, many, many more. And um, so check that out. That's pretty cool. Scum VM. Really cool games here. Windows are not actually just Cody there, so that nothing really crazy there. You do have Ultimate Doom. You got Amiga, Commodore 64, Brutal Doom, if you want that one. Um, every version of Doom is on here, up to Doom Eternal, if you're a Doom fan. Now, consoles. It's going to be it is going to be in alphabetical order, so we'll just go really quick. 3DO, 228 games, pretty much all of them. The Ataris are going to pretty much have all of them. Even Jaguar at 56 games. NBA Jam, he's on fire. We have that and uh, nice artwork here as well. You do have the Bally Astrocade. You have Coley Co, Amiga CD32, Vetrix, Odyssey, Mattel, Television. Earlier, I showed you Xbox, massive Xbox collection at 243. I'm going to do a quick scroll here as we go through just to show you what's going on here. A lot of, lot of different games from Fighters, Unreal 2, pretty cool. Xbox 360, you got quite a few games from sport games to racing games, fighting games. Fear 2 is on here as well. That's a good one. PC Engine, 150. Super Graphics, 5. PC Engine CD, 70. TurboGrafx-16, 100. TurboGrafx CD, 50. Nintendo 64, over 300. That's going to be all of them. In Europe, you got another 235. And then the DD, you have 13 games here. Nintendo, 850. We can go all the way down to like S if you want to see like what Super Mario they have. They have Pac-Man. Uh, you'll notice the loading time here. This is being ran directly off the USB hard drive. So you can see there's a little stutter there. Um, you can absolutely copy this to a hard drive or copy it to an SSD that is totally available to you as well. There's your Super Mario, Duck Hunt, Mario 3. You got Famicom, Famicom Disk System, GameCube. This is what I'm talking about. Great system, a lot of great games. It's going to be running on the Dolphin emulator. You can, you can load your state, save your state. You can configure all types of different controls. It's a really nice way to be gaming you even have the zelda promotional disc over there all the mario parties all the zeldas all the marios all the nbas all the need for speeds all the streets forts games which are really cool the resident evils pretty cool even the sims on there spongebob monkey ball one and two and adventure and uh splinter cells on there Whew. wario's on there as well and then worms Satella View 39, Famic, Super Famicom 570. Don't forget, you also all the way at the bottom have Super Nintendo. For some reason, it's all the way at the bottom. Virtual Boy, all of them. Wii, massive, massive Wii set, over 900 games. If you're looking for a Wii game, it's probably on here. And this is probably a big chunk of this hard drive right here, right here in these Wii games. Um, even Wii U, you have Turbo. These are some of those games that are ridiculously cost a ton of money, like Turbo. It's one of those games, if you want to collect it, crazy. You even have WiiWare. You have over almost 400 WiiWare games as well. Um, wow. Cave Story and more. Sega 32X, you've got 33. Sega CD, 171. Dreamcast, 330. Sega Genesis, almost 1,000. Sega Genesis Hacks, another 175. Mark three. Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive Japanese. Sega Saturn, 304. Really cool system. Didn't really have a long life, but um, looks like there's a couple duplicates there, but looks really, really good. I always thought the CD cases on the Sega Saturn were cool. Especially because they were a little thicker. SG-1000, you've got 68. Neo Geo, you got all of them. Neo Geo CD, you got all of them. PlayStation, massive. The biggest set, I think, on this entire build with almost 1,700 games. I mean, it's going to have your game on here. A lot of people like to get these big 12 terabyte drives, even just to have for your archive. You know, if you're ever building something, you can just drag and drop the games you want. It is uh, all there for you. PS2, you've got 691. And I'll see if I can find a game list for this particular build. Some some of these companies will post the game list, some don't. But this, this there seems to be a pretty standardized game list on a lot of these builds. 
PS3, 21, PS4. Now here's where I want to spend a minute just to explain this all to y'all. There is no actual PS4. They're using PS4 artwork, but these are just PC games. So this is the PC version of Cuphead, PC version of Cyberpunk, PC version of Darksiders. Um, Dead or Alive 6 is PC. Doom Eternal is PC. Dirt Rally PC. Um, I've played many of these games. They all work. They all work really well. The nice thing about PC is if you are running this on a PC, you can get the controls really the way you want it, whether you want to do keyboard and mouse, or you can hook up an Xbox controller to your PC. Do you have Halo on here as well? Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter 10, MotoGP 2019, uh, Evil Resident Evil. You got Sega Rally, Street Fighter 5. Just crazy. Street to Rage 4, V Rally 4, Street, uh, Street Ultra Street Fighter 4. And uh, as you see here, um, WRC 8 as well. So really fun games. You could probably spend days on top of days just in this selection here. You also have Pinball as well for you Pinball fans. You got Europe. You got Japan. PS1 Europe. PS1 Japan. Another, you know, 1,500 games there. All right. Wow. You do have Open Bore all the way at the bottom. If you're into those, like, um, homebrew type games there's some cool ones there but now we got to do handhelds jesus jesus handheld games totaling at 8500 you got atari Lynx, pretty much all of them nintendo 3ds 500 games wow so you got all the mario parties all the nintendo dogs all the puzzle games animal crossing super smash bros wreck it ralph you got it all ds 20 the biggest collection i think bds 2200 games of nintendo systems some of those commodore has like thousands and thousands of games but again every single nintendo ds game ever made jesus that's ridiculous game and watch 59 game boy 800 all of them game boy advance all of them game boy color all of them super game boy all of them nintendo switch you do only have 61 games do you have Contra Selection? You do a Bayonetta 2. You got Zelda on here. Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, Kart uh, Racers. Super Mario Deluxe. Pokemon Sword and Shield. And Pokemon Tournament. And uh, Super Smash Bros. Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Maker 2. Street Fighter uh, 2 Ultra as well. Game Gear. All of them. Neo Geo Pocket and Pocket Color. All of them. PSP. 829 games. That's really cool to see. It does look like there's some PSP Mini sprinkled in here. And for some reason, there's a Nintendo DS game in here. That's really weird. But hey, um, it's also going to have... It's just aggregating some of this stuff. And there's some duplicates here. Um, so a little little weird on the um, the way they have it set up. And there's some duplicates here. So I would say it's closer to maybe 500 PSP games. Uh, you do have PSP Europe, though, at five, another 600. PSP France, French for 33. German, 40, Japan, 100, Korean, 100, and then PSP Minis, Minis in Europe, 300, and then Minis Japan. Now, you might want to like, I don't want to buy this hard drive because I don't want any of those other <clears throat> regional games. Well, they're, they're not taking up much space at all, like very, very little. Don't think they're taking up a lot. And then Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan Color, all of them. Can you believe that? Can you believe how much is on here? It's literally, are, you're archiving your entire childhood here. So that's going to be it here. You can right-click on a game. There's going to be all your information, top scores. Um, you can right-click and launch with different emulators, change, change the retro arch, do net play, play with other people. It's all available to you through the platform. All right, let's play some games. <clears throat> here we are in Nintendo Switch. As you see, it's emulating just fine. These 12 terabyte drives will run on almost any computer as long as it's like an i5 or better. But if you want to play Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and any kind of newer system like that, CD-based system like that, you will need a, a dedicated graphics card of some kind to take advantage of that and run it on full screen. But uh, here you go, you do get the whole entire Nintendo Switch emulator. You can change your controls. You can change it to handheld mode to um, get a little bit better frames per second if you do have a slower computer. But all the games loaded just fine, and uh, I did have to change my controls um, by hitting escape in the emulator, just go to options, controls, and I changed a couple of my controls, but that was just to my preferences. I am running this on an Xbox 360 controller, and it's running just fine. So now I'm in PC games, and this is, um, for those who don't know, it's called Full Throttle, amazing game. This is the remastered version, so what I'm doing here is I'm throttling between the original game and the high-res game. You can hit F1 on this. It's just a little cool thing you can see you could do in the actual game that's that's fun 
and um, as you see, it's running really well. I'm going to play another PC game after this, uh, Contra um, Corpse, which is a PC game as well, and that's running really well. I'll then play Super Nintendo, and then I'll end with a Nintendo DS. Everything's running just fine. You do have bezels on everything, and so let's just talk about this drive and whether it's a good deal or not. So I specifically sought this drive out. I paid for it. The reason being is I saw that it was a launch box only build. The only other 12 terabyte drives I've been reviewing typically have Retrobat and launch box um, and play night. That's, that's what I've seen 90% of the market right now. So the fact that somebody just had a straight up launch box build was what drew me to this one. I was like, I want to check that out because I like LaunchBox and be cool if everything was just on one front end system. And that's exactly what you're getting here. Um, I will start off with the biggest con to me is just this big hard drive you get. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you can see the hard drive you get, this little Western Digital unbranded slow hard drive. It's actually very loud. And uh, I agree with people that are like, it's not the best hard drive. So if I were you and you want this as an investment, and you want to keep it forever, I would get the hard drive and then I would buy another 12 terabyte, like legitimate hard drive. And I would transfer the whole thing to that drive. Um, and then, you know, then, you know, it's going to last for a while. That is the biggest downside. Some people are going to say that, you know, their biggest concern is rats or, you know, uh, viruses of some kind. I'm not too worried about that myself. Um, if you are worried about that, just put it in a computer that's not connected to the internet. You can avoid that whole thing altogether. Um, I mean, to download all this content would take you forever, but you could build something like this for fairly cheap. Just go buy LaunchBox, and then you just got to go seek out the ROMs and the BIOS files. It's really not that hard, and you should do it. It's a fun experiment. It's cool to do. But then I love what people say, which is like the, the bandwidth it would take to download all these files and the firewalls and the VPNs and everything else, um, you know, just makes it very limiting to them. And so some people like this option. So if that's you, I think this is kind of an option to go for. Um, but I do want to reiterate, and I say it almost every video, you know, you can absolutely build all this for free, uh, you know, launch boxes available to download and all the emulators and all the games are out there. Um, so with that being said, you know, this is very much like the other 12 terabyte hard drives out there. The cons are, you know, the refurbished hard drives and the potential that people are just scared about spyware and things. But then the pros are you really are getting everything all in a, in a complete thing with just tons and tons of games. You would never have enough time to, uh, actually, you know, go through yourself. Oh, and then the other the other complaint I've heard before is, you know, duplicate ROMs, things like that. You know, for example, this one has European games and U.S. games. And maybe you just don't need all that, so you're buying something you don't necessarily need. But, um, you know, weigh the pros and cons and make the decision yourself. But um, I really dig that this is a launch box only, and it's fully loaded. And it has some pretty big collections on some pretty, pretty heavy-hitting consoles. So that's why I like it. But that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.